Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the Bee Theme and the Bee Builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. Whenever you want to add multiple pins on the map, you need to use Map Advanced Element. It allows you to add as many pins you like and also customize them for your needs, when this element might be useful exactly. For example, when you have multiple stores in different locations or you got the resellers that you cooperate with and you want your potential customers, let know the exact places where they can buy your products. There can actually be a huge number of applications and it's up to you how you're gonna use this element. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to add multiple pins with an extra info window that appears on pin click. The first thing you need to start with is to generate Google Maps API key which is actually required by Google. Without that, you won't be able to display the map correctly. I will leave you the link to the Google where you can do that in the description. As soon as you got the key, you have to paste it and Google Maps API key field and theme options global advanced options tab. When it's done, we can go to the main part of this tutorial. Ok, so let's open the Bee Builder and start creating. The first thing I need to add is the section and wrap. Now I can drag and drop my map advanced element. As I want my map to be full width, uh, in the advanced tab, dimensions of the section, I need to set full width. There is also some extra spacing. Uh, it's margin on the left and right side and also at the bottom. So for the map advanced element in the advanced uh, spacing tab, I need to set margin to zero. That's great. There is no margin on any side right now. Uh, okay, and because my map is not big enough, I just want to make it a little bit bigger. And in the style tab of uh, the map advanced, in the map tab, I will set 100, sorry, 1000 pixels high. That's great. The map looks much better now. All right, so uh, maybe let's add a few pins right now. Uh, and for this tutorial, I will add only three, but like mentioned above, you can add as many as you like. Uh, maybe let's start from the methods of getting the lat and lang values, as they might be different in each case. The one I actually use is just getting them from the Google Maps directly. So when I'm in the Google Maps, and for example, I want to get the lat and lang for a specific place, like maybe I would like to get the for the Chinatown. I have to right click the mouse and uh, in the first row you have two values separated with comma and the first is always lat and the second is lang. So all I have to do is just click on it and it's copied to clipboard automatically. Let's get back to the Bee Builder and now in the content tab as my main pin I will add uh, the value I just already copied. So I'm going to leave the first one as the first one is lat. Let's remove the rest. And the second I'm going to paste as the lang value. As you can see, the map is far away right now because we didn't set the zoom yet. So I'm going to set maybe the default 13 should be fine, yes, that's fine. Uh, we are closer to the place uh, with paint on the map right now. That's great. Uh, okay, so um, we can add the other pins right now. Um, all right, so let's get back to the um, Google Maps. Uh, 
The other pin might be, for example, for the Statue of Liberty. Let's get these values again. Go back to the B Builder and uh, and the section called additional markers of the map advanced element uh, you have uh, the button called add new as soon as you click the add new button and uh, the new pin will be created so let's add our value for the statue of liberty okay it's the lot and this is the lang value that's great our pin has appeared as you can see, we got the two pins right now. Uh, and let's add the other right now. Uh, which one might be? Maybe let's add for the current park. Okay, so let's add another one. Okay, that's great, we have three pins right now. Uh, as you can see on my screen, uh, the pins by default are red. These are the default Google pins. But of course, uh, if you don't like them, uh, you can set your own. It's not a problem at all. Uh, each field, uh, as you can see, uh, the main, a pin uh, has an advanced section, the marker icon, where you can put uh, own image for the marker icon. And also each additional marker has also field called icon URL. This field is optional, uh, but as I said, you can put any image you like here. Uh, so maybe let's start from the uh, the main marker because there is always uh, in a map is something like a main marker main uh, pin and the other are additional markers so let's start from the marker icon for the main pin uh, i'm gonna set this one as you can see uh, the default uh, google pin has been replaced with mine custom and it has been replaced for all pins uh, and now, if you want to, for example, replace the icon URL for the second pin and you just want it to be, for some reason, a different uh, image, uh, you can get it from the media library, for example. Let's take this one, copy the URL, and let's get back to the B Builder and an icon URL, just put the URL. That's great. As you can see, uh, the um, icon URL for the Statue of Liberty has changed to my new image. We can, of course, do the same with third uh, icon. Let's get, for example, this one and paste it. Okay, that's awesome. As you can see, all three pins are different right now. And the next step, I would like to show you how to uh, add an extra info window that appears on the pin marker click. Uh, it's really useful uh, if, for example, you want to uh, mark a specific pin with the details, like maybe uh, information about the services you offer in a specific place, or just you want to put an image with I don't know, maybe your logo, uh, address, phone number, uh, whatever. So uh, let's start from the main marker. Uh, the main marker uh, has just under the Latin lang values have a field called info window. Uh, for the main marker and the additional markers, it's optional, of course, so you don't have to use it, but if you need it, just just you can. Uh, so I already prepared the content for this uh, video. Um, it's really basic content with really basic HTML tags like EMG and the link. 
So EMG will be the logo. Uh, just underneath I put the address and the phone number and uh, URL to the site. And as soon as you unclick out of this uh, info window field, the map will reload. And now if we will click on the pin on Chinatown, we will see the nice info window pop-up with uh, the logo I mentioned, with the address, phone number and site URL. Okay, let's go uh, to the second marker pin. Here we can add some text like just a basic text, maybe address, uh, maybe phone and maybe site URL. Uh, it's just a test to show you uh, how it works. So as soon as we click, the map, map has reload and whenever we click on the pin, we will see the additional text. We can do exactly the same thing uh, with the third pin. I really hope you liked this video and it provided you with a lot of valuable information related to the map element. And from now on, you will be using it with more confidence in your projects. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.